day is it? This looks spicy. Sorry I'm starting in a weird location at a weird angle, but husband's in a meeting and where I'm going to be filming from now on is kind of close to him, so I have to time things a little better. <laughs> but today is the first week of March. We are on March 3rd. I meant to start this earlier in the week. It is currently Wednesday, <laughs> but busy things happen. On Monday, the desk arrived so the desk that we're putting in the nursery for me arrived and we built it it took five hours and you saw clips of the desk it's beautiful very much very much worth the effort and then yesterday my husband got his covid vaccine we spent a few hours in the car waiting in that line so again didn't have time to start a vlog also didn't feel like reading those days for some reason but today is a new day what I'm currently reading is I'm about 20% into the second book in this series, the Park Ranger series by Daisy Prescott. The second book is called Stranger Ranger. I will put it up here, but I am reading the second one right now. I was going to read Slay. I'll also put that up here because I have it. It's just on the new desk and I'm too lazy to go get it but yeah so I was gonna read that but I just wasn't in the mood for the genre at the moment I wanted something that I could read laying down because I've been having a lot of pains because <coughs> pregnancy being pregnant is hard I'm reading Stranger Ranger on my Kindle I have read 20% since Monday and yeah so slow but we're gonna get going not a very busy week. Tomorrow I go to have a social distancing in the park coffee with my mom so that she can give us some baby nursery stuff that she got us so thank you so much mom. But other than that the week is pretty empty for me so yeah. Hopefully we can get some reading done because I feel like reading but when it comes down to like I have time to read I start doing something else. <laughs> like the dishes or making snacks for the week or cleaning something or organizing something or it's just staring into the baby closet because <laughs> the clothes are so tiny and cute so yeah let's hope that I can actually get some reading done this week because I'm really enjoying Stranger Ranger I'll talk about that in a little bit but so far I'm liking it more than a happy trail which is surprising because I liked Happy Trail a lot. So yeah, I'll update you in a bit when I'm in a less weird angle, but welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Back 
Okay, hi, hello. So, I wanted to do a kind of talk about the book that I'm reading because I haven't talked about it yet. It's been a busy day. We ended up picking up groceries, getting lunch from Ona Hawaiian, and then I spent most of the day actually sitting at my desk doing journaling for March because I know it's already March 3rd, but I hadn't set anything up yet. <laughs> I'd only done like some of the beginning of the month uh, spreads, but I hadn't done my weeklies, so. Finally got that set up three days into March. But now let's talk about the book. I'm reading Stranger Ranger by Daisy Prescott, which is the second book in the Park Ranger series. And I am reading it on Kindle, but I'll put a picture of it up here so you can see that nice cover. Um, I love that the covers are all uh, correlated, like the art style is the same for so far the first two books in the series. I haven't seen the, if there's a third book or anything, but so I'm going to talk about the book. <laughs> this is spoiler free, as always. These vlogs are always spoiler free unless I make it very obvious. So Stranger Ranger. The first book followed Jay and Olive. Jay was the park ranger. <laughs> In this book, we follow the main character, Daphne, who is a seasonal ranger at the same place that Jay works from the first book, but the hero is someone local to that area. So that's Odin, and Odin owns a farm, like he lives on his family's farm, uh, in town near the park. So yeah, following Daphne and Odin, um, it seems like there's been hints that Daphne was raised in an Amish community is what I'm getting the vibe of. Highly religious, the girls have to wear skirts, they have braids, stuff like that. Um, she didn't get to watch TV, you know, stuff like that. And then Odin is like a past, he has a past, a dark past, like he wasn't the best behaved teenager. He was a little wild and he kind of wanted to get out of the holler when he was younger so he escaped the town um, but then he came back and so he's kind of like the weird guy in town. They meet at a farmer's market and she accidentally says a bible quote to him and they get off on the wrong foot. Like she insults the vegetables that he's selling and he gives her a weird impression because he has a pet pig that he like walks around town. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about Daphne and Odin because I don't want to spoil anything even though there's not really much to spoil. But I wanted to talk about something very interesting. So the first book, I did not relate to Olive, the main character. I thought she was interesting and she was easy to follow. But, like, I didn't personally relate to her or anything. And then in that book, the hero, uh, Jay, I really liked him because of his introvert tendencies. And he had a lot of good quotes about, like, being an introvert and kind of a past of being bullied and kind of how he kind of keeps to himself. And he would rather be alone. <laughs> Not around other people. Not partying. He's more serious. And I liked him for a hero because of that. But strange enough, I am highlighting so many quotes from Odin's chapters in this book because these are dual POV books, if you didn't know. I like Daphne, but I don't really relate to her. She's on some kind of like religious journey <laughs> or whatever. And she's kind of flighty and just our personalities are not very similar. But I'm finding Odin's personality to be so so intriguing. He walks his pig because he has a pet pig and you don't really know why and I'm not going to spoil why he has a pet pig. 
and then he has a dog and it's just him living on the farm and that's it he ha he's just alone so i like these introverted kind of heroes that daisy prescott has been portraying in the books but what's really interesting about odin is i'm highlighting all these quotes because he talks so much about being an outcast and about being weird and i just i love them he's he says things like you know being an outcast is so cool because people will just leave you alone <laughs> they won't question what you're doing because they just think you're the weird guy and you can just kind of mind your own business and do your own thing and people don't bother you so i i don't know i just want to point out that i did not expect to enjoy odin's perspective so much but i am and yeah that's really all i'm 36 percent into the book on chapter 13 and let's hope i can make some progress tonight um it is almost 8 p.m now and we haven't had dinner <laughs> so we're gonna go do that but just wanted to kind of talk about the book because i'm already almost 40 percent in and i haven't said anything about it i will update you again when i know more but so far i like this book more than happy trail just because I want to keep hearing about Odin's farm situation, his pay, <laughs> and following him on his journey, and I don't know why, but I do. So yeah, that's it. I will talk to you again later. I feel out of place, the roads aren't the same, like they were when you were the one driving. Okay, hello. Sorry for the glare on my glasses. I'm lazy. You're gonna have to deal with it. But I did my makeup today. It's all cute and I'm still wearing it for some reason even though I've changed into pajamas. I need to go clean my face off. But before I do that, it's been a busy day and I haven't read anything since I last updated you. Is anyone shocked? No. Um, so it is Thursday. I didn't read anything Wednesday. I didn't read anything today. <laughs> Maybe I'll read a little bit tonight. It's already 10 o'clock, which is basically my bedtime. Pregnancy life. We go to bed early. We need all the sleep we can get. <laughs> but I went to the park to meet my mom and my sister to get some nursery items from them but we socially distanced it was all just you know face masks and outside at the park and kind of just she put things in my car it was nice to see her and then i got some milk tea which was delicious and it was nice it was really good but if you know i do have gestational diabetes so don't freak out i did get a sugar-free one and not like they added a different kind of sweetener sugar-free but like they didn't add sweetener it was just tea and non-dairy milk i actually did a lot today other than that too i made dinner which you saw clips of which was really simple but it was really good uh we just wanted something fast and beyond sausages are very quick <laughs> steaming broccoli very quick canned fruit <laughs> very quick but today was kind of busy uh husband had a lot of meetings and I met with my mom and then I also edited a video and filmed a clip for it and then also did the voiceover for it and <laughs> uploaded it so I worked on that for a few hours so there was basically all of my afternoon and I had slept in because I woke up at like four o'clock this morning because I hadn't taken a sleep medication to keep me asleep and so I was awake from like four to six so yeah no reading update tonight just wanted to document that i look pretty cute my makeup i'm very happy with this evening and i had a good day in general but i didn't do any reading so that is disappointing but yeah hopefully i'll get back to it these books are really quick so i'm hoping i can just maul through it maybe tomorrow see you then
Hello and good morning everyone. It is now Friday. I did not do any reading last night. I took a bath and then I kind of just had a snack and went to bed. Feeling pretty tired because pretty sure we're growing and that causes me to have days where I just feel like I don't have the energy to do anything and I'm like in pajamas still. It's 1 p.m. and yeah I did some cleaning up of the desk to start the morning and had coffee which did help me a little bit I am feeling a bit better now that I've caffeinated um, but I think I'm just gonna do some organizing around the house today some cleaning I'm just gonna take it easy today I think I just don't feel like doing anything so sitting and reading sounds nice that's all Hello. I took basically all of today to just rest. I apparently needed it because I still feel tired. <laughs> Ever just lay down and then get up and feel like you could lay down again? That's basically how I feel. I just want to nap all the time, but I took a bath and I feel a little bit better. Just not feeling it today. Not feeling it today. Both of us aren't. So I'm going to do some more reading. I read for about 30 minutes in the bath. I'm now 43% into the book, so I read another 10% in the bath. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep reading my blood sugar because I have gestational diabetes, if I didn't mention. My blood sugar is kind of low today on the low side, which I think kind of correlates with her having a gross spurt, which makes me feel like down the whole day, kind of like how I felt today. Um, and the numbers on my blood sugar readings kind of reflect that. So. I'm going to eat some snacks throughout the night. It is currently 9.20 p.m. I didn't do anything today, literally anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna read, but I probably won't stay up more than a few more hours. Reading update, since now I'm almost halfway through the book, I'm very much enjoying this book and I wish I had more brain power because I would totally just binge this book like I did the first book. Just when your blood sugar is low, the first thing that goes is your brain. And so <laughs> it's not like I can just be tired and still use my brain. So I'm just gonna sit here. And this book is really good so far. I am seeing how things are building up. I'm getting to the point where things are gonna start getting interesting between the two main characters. I like that Daisy Prescott takes her time to build up her characters and the situation instead of just having them get together and it be just like instant romance. I really feel like we're getting to know these characters. I really like the hero in this book and I really liked the hero in the other book, but the two main characters I am less in tune with, if that makes sense. Their personalities and mine just don't really match up very well. Yeah, I, I generally don't need to personally relate to the main characters in books. I just need to see that they feel like a real person. I tend to pick side characters that I really enjoy. I don't know why I decided to tell you about that, but this book does it very well. Daisy Prescott of the two books that I've read, well, one and a half that I've read now, seems to really do that. So I am appreciating that. So thank you, Daisy Prescott. I'm gonna get to reading, so see you later. Okay, quick reading update. It is 11 p.m. now, so it's been two hours. I'm on 71% of this book and we got to spicy town very quickly <laughs> I don't remember the last book getting to this point as quickly as this one did so that's interesting but Daisy Prescott mm, this book's spicy I did not expect it to get as escalated like I didn't expect it to escalate as quickly as it did so if you need a spicy read happy trail and stranger ranger but they've already like you know done things at this point and we're only at 71 percent so i'm assuming we're gonna have a little bit of conflict a misunderstanding or something for the last 30 percent because this can't be can't be it. There's too much of the book left. Enjoying this so far. 
Um, I'm gonna go to bed though because I'm tired. And I will see you either tomorrow or Monday, depends. So, we'll see y'all later. I feel out of place. The roads aren't the same. Like they were when you were the one driving my car. And now I just count the waves of our yesterday. Hello, it is now a little bit, it's a little bit later. I ended up finishing Stranger Ranger the day after my last clip, that next morning, I just like whoosh, finished it out and I loved it. I can honestly say that I wish there were more books in this series. I did not expect to like this series as much as I have. I am very much looking forward to more Daisy Prescott reads now. The thing that really tied up at the end was really nice and I felt like I liked this couple more than the Happy Trail couple. Probably just a personal preference thing because I think both books were written very well and to the same quality. Just personal preference is what it ended up being. So if you like a steamy romance, this one's a little more steamy than Happy Trail, like immediately. But if you like a steamy romance with masculine men with secret soft spots, introverted men, might I add, an introverted hero, and quirky heroines, main characters, then I highly suggest this series. I will put up the content warnings for this book on the screen, as you can see right now. There are not that many. I would say this was a very easy read as someone who myself is easily triggered. I think it's a pretty good, pretty good series. It didn't have anything too extreme to say. It was more fun and lighthearted and just about a romance. There are very strong feminist themes within this series, so do be aware of that if you are not a fan of that feminist agenda kind of pushing the narrative and being part of the character's identities, I would not suggest this, but if you don't mind some feminist statements and opinions and you like the quirky character kind of thing in romance, then I highly recommend this one. I love the unique characterization. I love how different each of these books were, but at the same time they scratched the same itch. So if you get the same itch again, you don't have to reread the same book, just read the next one. Or the first one if you read the second one first. You can read these books out of order, but I don't recommend it. You do get, I guess, spoiled for the first book, and you do see the first couple in the second book, but like it's a romance so you know that they're gonna get together ultimately so is it really a spoiler like you're going into it knowing but yeah i if you wanted to you could totally read these out of order and you would be perfectly fine it would still be very interesting to go back and see a uh, jay and olive's story i think it nothing is really given away about it in this second book just that they end up together but yeah, I I really liked this one. <laughs> I'm not a romance reader primarily, if you don't know. I do read some like smuttier romances every now and then, but it's not like a niche of mine that I read all the time. It's not it's not a major category that I tick off my box very often, but it is recently. So yeah. I don't know what that says about my current state, but <laughs> I loved it. I wish there were more in this series. And I think I was reading that this duology is part of a larger universe. I don't remember what the universe was called, but it's something by a different author. They created a universe that's like a romance 
universe that there's a bunch of different series that other authors have written into. I will put the name up here so that you can see it. That's interesting. I'm going to look into some of those, but for now, thank you so much for watching. And sorry that this clip is a little stilted because I procrastinated on filming it. Got busy, life happens. But yeah, I highly recommend this romance if you're in the mood. And I hope to see you in the next video. Please consider liking and subscribing so that one, I know that you like these types of videos, and two, so you get suggested more things like this, and three, so you know when future videos are coming out, because I know I miss a lot of videos if I don't subscribe immediately. I'll forget about the creator. So thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. Say